now to the pro? Uh, the biggest adjustment is just um, the small gloves and being smart. Certain stuff you could do the average. There ain't really no big adjustment. It's just uh, it's getting better and getting smarter. And, and tell us now, are you with the Mayweather promotion? I'm with Mayweather promotion. Everything was on point and uh, we made it happen right, right from there. Uh, came back in October, we, we sat, we spoke, gave me the opportunity to go speak to uh, different promoters, different people, and then uh, once I made my position, it was a decision, we made it happen right away. There was no better choice. Talk about uh, the difference between the Olympic point system and the pro. Uh, I say it's kind of similar, but then again, kind of different. Because in the uh, Olympics, you got three rounds and you got to throw a lot of punches in three rounds. And, uh, you got more rounds, you can take your time more. But uh, they try to make it to the pros, but there's a lot of, I want to say bullshit going on with the IE, but low system. So, uh, I mean, they, I, I don't know. It, it depends what, what, kind of, what the judges see. You know, these judges be awesome time and amateur. So you, can't really, you can't really say the point system. It, it depends what the judges are looking for. And have they, um, do you know who your opponent is? And has that already been settled now? Uh, my opponent is Robert Mosley from uh, I think the Bronx. It don't really matter though. I'm ready. Our training camp was great and I'm just ready for the level. You know much about him or? Nah, I just know he's a pro debut and uh, Saturday night he got to see me. Okay, and how's your weight and how'd the camp go? Are you, are you uh, right there or? Oh, I was on weight yesterday. I was on weight yesterday, <laughs> literally. Uh, camp is great. I don't really got to do much. Uh, it's easy right there. Uh, I ain't getting ready for no world title, so we got a few pounds to uh, play with. So. What gym are you working out of? Alice Cobb Kids in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Brooklyn, New York. Okay, say so a shout out to your fans. Uh, everybody, everybody, please follow me on Instagram at Richardson Hitchens. Uh, sh shout out to all my fans. Keep fighting for me. I mean, keep supporting me. I fight for you. And um, just be on the lookout for me. Saturday night, July. Saturday night, July 29th. Don't miss it. Uh, I'll be putting on a show in the barbershop. Thank you. Now, as a young man in the professional ranks, being a young prospect, junior welterweight, what are you looking to accomplish first in boxing? Uh, for, first thing I definitely want to accomplish is getting my family out the hood. That's that's the main goal. That's what I. That's the the main the main thing. But uh, that equal that that after that is just being the best that I, the best fighter that I could possibly be. I want to go out now as one of the greats. I feel like I'm uh, the future of the sport. I'm one of the best uh, fighters, best young fighters out there right now. Uh, it's proven, and um, I just gotta go out there and keep proving the boxing. Where there's a lot of people that don't know don't know who I am. There's a lot of people that know who I am. For the people that don't know who I am, just fights like big cars like this just get, lets me showcase my skills to the people. So uh, I'm just ready, just ready for what the future holds. Tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Richardson Hitchens. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, hey, you know where I come from is uh, the struggle from nothing. That basically every every young black guy growing up in um, America. You know, we, we don't come from that. Not too much opportunities in boxing. Gave me this opportunity for, for me to help my family out and uh, put myself in a better place. So uh, that's basically who I am. I'm just a kid chasing dreams. Hey, talk to us about your amateur background. Uh, my amateur background, I was uh, I had a lot of amateur fights, so much. Uh, I fought some of the best guys. Uh, went to Olympics, two-time World Cup champion, seven-time national champion. Tournaments after tournaments after tournaments. And uh, it prepared me for big times like this. So. Uh, my amateur background was very good, and I'm just, and I think my I think I thank God I had a good support system and a good team behind me to make sure I was at all these tournaments and fighting the best guys and uh, competing with the best guys in the world. So that made me the fight who I am today. You're signed with Mayweather Promotions, so talk to us about Mayweather versus McGregor. What are your thoughts on that fight, that event? Uh, I feel like it's uh, good. People say it's bad for boxing, but I feel like it could be good for the sport because. It's gonna open a lot of eyes. There's a lot of people that don't know about boxing that knows about that fight. So, regardless, it's gonna give uh, it's gonna give it's gonna uh, open eyes to a lot of other young young up and coming boxers yeah. on the card, like Javante Davis. They got uh, um, I think um, Badu Jack. They got a lot of um guys coming up. Um, and it's gonna how, how can I say it? It's gonna open open the eyes for the casual boxing fans that don't really know too much about boxing. It's gonna, they're gonna have to watch them fighters before Floyd get on. So it's gonna be like, all right, uh, I'm entertained now, and it's entertaining to the sport. 
McGregor's an entertainer, Floyd's an entertainer, so it's great for the sport. I, lo I love the press conference, the tour, everything about it was great, and uh, I'm just ready to see the fight. I, feel I know this may sound like a silly question, but how detrimental would it be if Mayweather were to lose to McGregor? Would that hurt boxing? <laughs> I know, silly happened. question. <laughs> but that would, that would, I don't know if it would hurt boxing. He's laughing. I don't know if it, it is, but I, I don't know if it would hurt boxing, but it definitely hurt me. It will definitely hurt me. And Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, and Mayweather. Even made the 100 percent before, even not just as my promoter. That's somebody I really look up to like a lot. And uh, before I even signed, signed, met him. That's somebody I really yeah. inspired me to be great. So uh, that's like I don't know. That's like <laughs> I don't really watch basketball. I'm pretty sure that's like Jordan like missing a three shot, a three point shot. That's supposed to win the game. So I don't know. That's gonna hurt hurt my feelings. I think. Do you think Floyd's gonna embarrass him in there? I think he's gonna stop him. I think gonna stop him. Embarrass him and stop him. Yeah. I think a lot of fight fans are asking themselves, will Conor McGregor's uh, muscle memory kick in? No pun intended, but will it kick in? Because probably. he might strike with one of his MMA moves. Probably. Is it possible? Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he'll find this whole Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm about to say But that's that, why. Yeah. Muscle memory yeah. could kick in. Hopefully, yeah. it'll Floyd get a bonus. <laughs> Hopefully. So, uh, I hope he could control himself. And what Richardson, you, let me, uh, go ahead. Let, go ahead. Let, me, let me ask you. Now, you're an Olympian. Yeah. And you get, you've been getting a big buzz in the sport of boxing, you know, even though the mainstream, you know, they finally starting to get to know you. But everybody you spar with, you don't spar with everybody. Yeah. Who would you say outside of yourself was the most complete fighter sparring with? Shakur Stevenson. Uh -huh. Shakur Stevenson has the most complete fighter I've, I've been in the ring with. And I ain't going uh, to downplay him because he's my agent. He coming up with me and trying to get myself. Um, like, uh, like you know, try to play him like nah, he nah, Shakur Stevenson. I'm gonna name world champions, all that. That's somebody that uh, push pushes me mentally, not physically, mentally in the, in the ring, and that's uh, another superstar coming up in the sport. And that's my brother, so that's somebody that I came up with. That's somebody that helped me be the fighter who I am today. Cause uh, being in the gym with him to help us develop our skills from young kids. Young kids. I remember we. I mean, we used to be in the gym four in the morning before we go to the nationals and sparring like eight rounds in the gym four in the morning by ourselves. Like, we are just in love with boxing. It's just little stories like that people don't know. Like, we used to be in an always slap boxing. Every tournament, we were all the top kids in the country well, gather up, Nimi, Shakur, Nico Hernandez, Christopher, um, Christopher Colbert, a lot of top fighters. We all go to the hotel and we'll fight before the actual tournament starts. So, stuff like that is just, uh, I mean, it, I feel like it helped you develop as a fighter. Because it's like, uh, you see the kids who really love boxing, we just push it ourselves. But Shakur Stevenson, and uh, I'll say he's one of the most complete fighters I've been in the ring. So, you know how we have the... 